Oh, no, it's not open. Okay. I need to actually get over here. And the only way to do so is to literally get on this little shelf over here. What are you doing, Mario? We're back, gang, for episode number five of Paper Mario Origami King. In the last episode, I literally almost died to a giant Goomba Pianta kind of thing while I was going through the game. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's continue from where we last left off and try not to die throughout the rest of this game if we can. But uh, yeah, that was a bit uh, insane to say the least. Okay, so, all right, let's figure out what we're supposed to do here, so. All right, let's tear this off. All right, where does this lead to? What the hell? Did it just lead all the way over there? Okay, sure, I guess. Oh, hell no. I'm not about to let that thing just smack me in the face. That already happened way too many times earlier. I'm not about to have that happen again. What's this orange pipe here? The other end of the pipe is blocked. Okay, so something tells me that we need to uncover that later. So for now, what we need to do is... I was going to try and press this button, and for some reason I cannot remember. Gosh darn it. I will gladly take all of this, thank you. Okay, question, is there anything else that we need? I didn't mean to do that! That was by accident. All right, let's get some coins. At the very least, at least try to fix everything, Mario, come on. We don't want to waste all this convey for nothing. Okay, so, do we have enough for this joint here? We definitely do. Okay. Thank God, I was just about to say, I was about to get so mad if I didn't actually have enough for that joint, so. Yep, not even close. Okay. I need to try and get some more confetti, but the problem is that there ain't no confetti around this little area. So, I need to go over to a different area in order to get more confetti. And I think I just witnessed a Goomba earlier that I can probably get some more confetti from. Or never mind, I just got more anyway. <laughs> I just found more anyway. Okay, never mind what I said. Scratch what I just said, I just found more anyway. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, when this game knows what I need it most, it just gives it to me. All right, get all them coins. Let's enter here. Because that toad really looks like he needs some help, so. All right, let's go over here. Oh, no, it's not open. Okay. I need to actually get over here. And the only way to do so is to literally get on this little shelf over here. What are you doing, Mario? There we go. That's what I was trying to make you do last time. Hello? I was just about to say, did the game crash on me or something? What was going on? Save me! hate these things on predictability, son. Finally! The thing dead. Jesus. Save your shy guy. If anyone could defeat the world's largest and most disgusting Goomba, I knew it'd be you, Mario. Well, yeah, you ain't wrong. He is kind of disgusting, not gonna lie, but Jesus, I hate those things. They are so annoying to beat because they give my like total asses to you. Come the hell on with that, man. Like, seriously? Urgh. Why the hell were you stuck in there? Hey, thanks for that. I owe you one. Oh, but I can pay you back right now with information. If you're trying to get to Peach's castle, you can take the sewer over there. 
A sewer, you say, eh? Hmm. I'm gonna have to remember that for a little bit later, because something tells me that that's gonna be important. What? The bridge is broken! Now how are we going to get into Peach's Castle? It's not like we can just jump in an underground tube, travel through it somehow, and pop out on the, the other side, can we? Uh, Olivia, have you not seen a pipe in the Mario series? Jesus, this lady can be stupid sometimes. Okay, well, I don't want to go into this pipe just yet. I want to see if there's anything else that I need to do here, because I have a feeling there's going to be some more that I have to fix in this little encased world, if you get what I'm saying. And besides, this is to prep me up for uh, the upcoming next Paper Mario game that I may or may not get. And before the uh, 3DS and uh, Wii U online get shut down at that time. Although I don't know how that's going to work out specifically, but who cares? Okay. Let's go ahead and fill this little hole here, too. Alright, is there any... Oh my god, I just heard a, th a storm. Holy cow, there was a giant pile that has to get filled up here. Good thing I had a lot of confetti beforehand, or I would have looked like a fool. Is it possible to fill up a, a um, actual deal and then accidentally just get... Oh, okay, that was completely useless. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um... Oh my god, I had something in my brain and I completely forgot what I was going to spit out. Wow, Andre, you're an idiot. I, I had it in my brain. I was going to spit it out and then all of a sudden I forgot what I was going to spit out. Man, I feel right stupid now. There we go, finally. All right, thankfully this isn't a much or more open field, so... How did I get hit by that thing? Come on! I was nowhere close to it. Stupid freaking macho Goombas, or whatever they're called. All right, come on now. Trump hasn't arrived. Snacks are running low. Morals even lo morals even lower. Send help and snacks. Oh my god, I didn't even pay it attention. I was, like, casually just walking, and then I just fell straight into a hole. Okay, I'm actually embarrassed. I legit was not paying attention. I thought that was just a regular floor, and then I fell into it. Man, I'm an idiot. That's what I get for not paying attention. That's not the game's fault for doing that, okay? Just want to make that clear. That was clearly my fault, because my dumbass did not look hard enough, okay? here. Okay, thankfully I got some HP back, so that's good. I didn't actually know those macho enemies can even leave off hearts. That's actually pretty nice. Alright, took care of that. Alright, is there anything else beyond that that I have to fix? Because it doesn't look like there's any other holes that I have to fill in or anything. Although I don't want to speak, I don't want to speak too soon though, so... All right, let's go over here and see if there's anything that I have to do here. Oh, that sucks! I thought you could cheat and go through that, but nope. There's just a solid wall over there. Didn't even matter. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything important over here. So get back to where we last left off now, so... Alright, there is some cash here that we can get, so that's at least nice. Ah! What the hell is a spike doing in here? Oh, ooh, I thought you might be one of those hideous folded guys or something. What do you mean that's not enough distance to get over there? Stupid thing. Okay. Isn't it see this game with its tricks? Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be anything over here, so... Is that really it? Because if it is, I can just go ahead and continue from where I last left off, but it seems like this is a bit too easy. 
No, it can't end like this, can it? Okay, no bleeds over there. Okay, so it doesn't really look like there's any other fixes I have to do. It looks like everything has been pretty much fixed and dandy now, so. So it seems like there's a lot of stuff that I missed over here, but there seems to be only one hole that is missing from that one, you know, genre, which I well, I don't understand, frankly, but I'm going to have to take a look at that later. Because right now, I am too busy just looking around the whole game for me to even care about that. Okay, I guess for now what I can do is just continue on from where we last left off because I really don't want to get through too much trouble, if that makes any sense. Oh, you can't enter through here! Okay, I'm not stupid. Okay, but it doesn't look like you can really pull that. Oh, I forgot to mention that you you need a special manhole hook to set to get down there. I think my friend is using it right now. Just look for a red shy guy like me, but not quite as handsome. Okay, so it definitely looks like you need to get that. But before I do anything, I need to take a look at this pipe, because I just skipped it earlier, but... Where could this lead to? It leads back over here? Okay, well, that was a little lame. I thought it was going to lead to a secret exit. Wait a second! I know now what red shy guy this dude is talking about. He's talking about the first dude that I saved when it was over here. Okay, hold up. I need to go back over there and speak to him. Because it didn't cross my mind that I needed to speak with him at first glance when I saved him the first time. You know, thank God that I spoke to that shy guy. Had that not happened, I would have not have known that you had to actually speak to this guy beforehand. I came here to deliver dinner, and in a weird way, that's exactly what I did. But, but Red Shy Guy is off the menu, thanks to you. Thanks to you, Mario. I really owe you one. Hold on. You're red. Just like the that other Shy Guy, and nearly as handsome. So do you have the, t that, the thing we need to open the sewer lid? I don't know what you're talking about, but that hook isn't here. Check out the red brick building at the part at the port. That's where I left it. So red building off the port. Gotcha. Okay. You know, what these red shy guys, you would think that they would just put the stuff where they need to be, you know, where they need to be so you can, you know, just get the deal right away, but I guess not. But to be fair, it would make the game a little too easy if that was the case. But yeah. <laughs> what do you gotta do? You know what I'm saying? It's it's a video game. Of course it's not gonna, gonna bring it over to you like free candy. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not like it's supposed to be that simplistically easy. I mean, even if it is, that would make the game far too boring if that is the case. I mean, there has to be some puzzle solving that you have to do in order to, you know, get through with the rest of the game, alright? Anyway, is it in here by any chance? Because if it's by the port, then that has to mean it's over here, no? Ah, I see something moving. There it is. It, it took me a second to figure out what was going on at first, but okay, now I got it. Alright, let's press X here. something secret over there. Okay, good job I did that. Alright, there's a lot of confetti over here. Okay, sure. Okay, that immediately just killed those things in one hit. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Doing. 
Bruh, like, what are you actually doing? Go back up there and... Is there really nothing in that box? Okay, well that didn't lead to anything interesting. Okay, here is my question then. Where is this hook that he mentioned about? Because he said it was in the red port building. That's the thing. So, if it's not in here, then where could it be? Wait a second. I have a feeling I'm thinking about this too hard. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to look at something. Wait, hold on one tiny little second. I need to look at something because <clears throat> I'm going to get so confused on this that I'm going to spend two hours trying to look for it, and I don't want to deal with that nonsense, so... Let me look at something. One tiny little second. Hold on. Oh, no, it is in there! <laughs> I thought it was not in there at first. Okay, my dumbass. It was in here this whole time. My dumbass was thinking that it was, it was in some other location. No, it was in here. I was just not thinking hard enough. It was right here this whole time. And I completely skipped it on top of that. Thank God I looked up online or I would have made a huge mistake and skipped it for no reason and be stuck in this world. And I didn't want that to happen. Thank God. Always trust online stuff because they always have the right information when you're looking for something. Always trust them whenever you can. Okay, well, with that hook situation out of the way, we can now try and get back to where we left off now, so. <clears throat> that is hands down the weakest fountain I've ever seen. But to be fair, there's no paper coming out of that thing, so. How the hell is there a giant Macho Goomba all the way at the very top of that building? Wait a second, I gotta go take care of that thing before we do anything else. I know this is not necessary to do this right now because we have to face against, you know... Whatever is in the sewer area, but I need to figure this situation out. One second, y'all. Okay, question is, how are you supposed to get all the way to the other side, though? Wait a second. You probably need to unlock, like, some sort of paper airplane kind of joint or some upgrade like that and get past there. I don't think you can really go over there right now because that's not saved until way later in the story. So there's no point in going over there. Okay, let me not waste any time with that then and actually get over to what I actually need to do. Excuse me, what? I didn't mean to press X! I was trying to press A! Gosh darn it, there we go. Urgh! There we go. See, that wasn't so hard. All right, he's saving. Oh, dear lord. It is dark as hell in this thing. Ack! It's so dark in here! Why does everyone seem to like this place too much? No idea. Your guess is as good as mine, Olivia. Can you turn on the lights, Mario? Otherwise, it'll be dark all the way through the place. What do you think he is? A freaking fat flashlight? Okay, I guess that's one way to light up the place a little bit. Nice picture. Look, someone's here. Who's there? Yes, I'm saved. Oh, Mario, I had to run down here and hide from those horrible bullet soldiers. Pardon me. I should introduce myself. Mario, I'm the curator of Mu... Mose... Campaign in Toad Town. What the hell kind of title is that? What in the world? It's a museum with a splendid collection of objects. Music, treasures, origami, and other wondrous items. And we have even managed Mario to 
acquired the legendary Super Mario Sea Vessel, believe it or not. I do hope you can not come visit soon. We're open, even with all of the origami crime we've got. <laughs> okay, I will give to that. That is a pretty funny line. Crime we've seen all of lately. Masumi Marina? I'm trying to remember those words instead of those that toad's face. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame you, Olivia. I don't blame you. That guy was a little weird. It's just kept getting closer. It was all I could focus on, but maybe the words were more important. Should we go back to Toad to town and check on Moza whenever he that is? Eh. Honestly, as much as I want to do that, I think I want to save the game, first of all, because as much as I want to continue with this segment, it's already been above the 20 minute mark. And I don't think it's fair to really go through the rest of the game and make this episode even longer than it should be. Because the last thing I need is to make it like an hour long, like my Pokemon series. So, you know what? I'm going to actually save the game here for now and actually stop this episode for now because I don't want to make it too long. You know what I'm saying? So for now, guys, I'm wrapping this episode up here. I do hope that you guys enjoy this episode, despite how short this video was. But overall, it was a good time to actually get back into this game and go through some more of this. We were able to complete a couple of deals within the game, defeated several of those disgusting creatures, saved a couple of shy guys on a spike. We were able to find a manhole in order to, of course, get over to that manhole area, which is supposed to be important for the next area, I think. And... Well, yeah, we just accessed the next area of the game, so who knows what will be lying within the next area of the game, huh? Well, anyways, guys, I will see you next time when we come back to begin episode 6 of the series, but I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to continue through this game as we play through the rest of it, because we're three months away from Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door's remastered release date, so... I have absolutely no clue what that game is going to bring to the table, especially considering that I might consider playing some of the older Paper Mario games, too, that I have in store. Like, for example, Sticker Star and probably a couple of other ones if I really wanted to. But that's going to have to be saved for another day. But anyways, we will see you next time when we come back to begin another episode of this game. So till next time, guys, I will see you guys later. So till next time, guys, 